Go ahead and get started in. We'll start off with the uh, invocation. Uh, Commissioner Patton, I think if you do that, please, we'll do a pledge first. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we approach our throne this evening in a humble manner. After your blessings upon us, we enter into this meeting. Please bless us with wisdom and patience to discuss and to plan the activity for this city that it may go forward and grow. And we pray, Father, you'll bless our city and bless our nation in this time of unrest and illness. We ask you, Father, to heal our nation, make things well. Lord, be with us, Father. Bless us where we can, and forgive us when we fail you. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody, out tonight. Go ahead and get started. First item of the bills. Who to pay all bills? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, yeah, I, so I, I did. I jumped over with. So I the next one. Ready to say, approve the minutes. We're going to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I don't think we have a special meeting. Approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And that motion passes. We, need to pick all the, we did have a special call meeting to make sure it says all okay. minutes. Yeah. Make sure all minutes. Regular and special. Yeah. Okay, next item is under new business, the comprehensive plan update and resolution. I know y'all have been aware we've been working on this for, seems like, forever. COVID hit us and kind of backed things up a little bit, but they did get everything finalized. Uh, the planning and zoning has approved everything. And I thank you all. Did they get copies? Yeah. Of course, everybody gets what I thought. The resolution. That's the resolution. Did you get a copy of the? Oh, yes. That's, yes. It's yes. been some time back, but no, the plan itself. Oh, oh. oh okay. I think it's been a while. But. I think Hartford approved it. Did they approve it at their last meeting? So it's our, we've got to approve it and there's got to go to the fiscal court for final approval for it to go into place. We make a motion that we approve the comprehensive plan update resolution. I second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is a contract with the ticket agency for amphitheater ticket sales. Uh, this is something since, because of the uh, volume of money that could be coming through it, Attorney felt we needed to do it through the city as well as through tourism. I think I've, I've talked to all of you about it a little bit with the company we're looking at and uh, kind of excited about what they have to offer as far as their ability to help a lot on the paperwork with the Lisa anyway, with the funds coming through. So we need approval of that, please. What was the name of the company that you're getting? ETIX. ETIX? Mm -hmm. Make a motion that we approve the contract for the ticket agency ETIX. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion on that? Okay. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is police statistics. Due to uh, a lot of people staying home. 
And I will say this, Mike, that's something from what I've talked to, a lot of other cities are seeing the same thing with the, the jails. They're just, yeah. they're not able to take. Right. And actually, jail over here is closed right now. Yeah. So we either have to take them, if we arrest them, we have to take them to uh, Draper County, Newlandburg County, Davis County. So uh, I tell my guys, if you can cite them, the court can cite them, if you absolutely have to arrest them, arrest them, we'll, we'll deal with it. But if you look at them, page, just turn for the page there, it's about the cases. Uh, again, they were down, we had 82 cases in 2020. If you look, uh, 77 of them we closed, there's five still open. Uh, some of those that's open are uh, like identity theft, is the biggest majority of them that's open. Of course, those cases, you hardly ever find those. If four people come in, they have their identity stolen, uh, social security card, or whatever, and uh, we enter them, and we hardly ever, you know, you hardly ever solve one of those because they're from different states and things like that. And then it just breaks down who works cases, number of cases there. On the next page is our uh, total number of accidents for 2020, uh, 164. Uh, and we always run between 205 and 215 every year, just like clockwork. So this year it was 164. Uh, only 13 of them had uh, injuries. And uh, we're proud to say that we didn't have any uh, fatalities. So that's a good thing. Yes. Uh, you look at the bottom of that page there, and it shows... Uh, uh, like parking lot was 67, they're always the highest on our list. Uh, 62 to 231, there's 60. City streets 13. Uh, from Walmart to McDonald's, for our accident prone area that we kind of break it down. Uh, there was uh, six there, and it was six on WK Parkway. Uh, so if you look over to the far right, you'll see kind of where the number of wrecks that officers work. Uh, and if you look at that, uh, you know, the, the day chair part is the majority of the rest. Uh, just because of that much more traffic out. Yeah. Uh, next page shows the, uh, okay, it's got the back of the front area, there's a six. Uh, and the majority of our uh, 1046 was, was between uh, Walmart, Stoplight, and McDonald's. That's where, the, you know, we had three. And well, we had three that was 1045. Mike, there was one Friday night, and it wasn't, I don't think it was between Walmart and McDonald's, but it was just past McDonald's and the bridge. Yeah. Would that be considered ours, Hartford's? You know where it starts at. You know, <laughs> it was ours. It yeah. was, well, I know the Beaver Dam Fire Department was going I out there. I was betting them. On the bridge, yeah, they started there at McDonald's yeah. and the rest of them. It, it, it ended up over the other side. So okay. It starts in ours. It's ours. It starts in ours. That's kind of the way we do that. Uh, our total number of calls for they were down, but not, you know, not down a lot for 2019. Uh, they were down 600, but there were still 4,321 calls that, that we answered in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, the DUI's arrest, if you look uh, on the left, it's 2020. On the right, it says 2020, but that's just a little typo. Uh, that's my mis mistake for not. Uh, proof reading well enough. So the right is 2019? Yeah, on the right could be 2019. It says 2020. Uh, but you can see the DUIs, uh, alcohol, drugs, uh, and public intoxication uh, is included in over 25. <coughs> but as, as it's always been, alcohol and drugs, you can kind of split them and they're using 50 50, not much. You know, that won't very much. It'll be half would be alcohol, half would be drug related. Uh, that's for people maybe even uh, sometimes they're unaware that that even though they got a prescription for Lord's head or a purpose vet, and they say, Well, we got a prescription for them. Well they need to read a little further and understand that it can impair the drive. Uh, so before that, if you look on that last page, on well, that last page, next to one. It talks about our citations. Uh, again, they're down also. Uh, our uh, seat belt, they were down. 
speeding was down, speeding with had 65 seat belts with 34. <coughs> uh, so everything was just down from last year. Uh, not meaning the guys didn't do their job, just meaning that there's not as much traffic out. Uh, if you look there, we served uh, 101 warrants in uh, 2020. Uh, down from, it's probably, they're probably down about 100 from year four last. Uh, drug related charges, uh, they run pretty much what they did last year. Possession uh, of methamphetamine, 19, marijuana, 15, uh, trafficking, bad marijuana, four. Uh, drug paraphernalia, of course, that's 23, that could be anywhere from a needle syringe to uh, marijuana pipe to rolling paper with uh, marijuana. So there's a lot of different things that falls under the drug paraphernalia. And it, but you've got to have, you can't have rolling paper in charge of drug paraphernalia if they don't have something to go with it. So you want to say Yeah. If you've got a if somebody's got a, let's say, a, a bomb that there's no smoke in it, and there's nothing in it, just a bomb, or they got a new pipe, you can't charge it. But in the last page, we did some odd and end stuff that we threw in there. But all those stats are down uh, from last year, and I think they're that way about everywhere that you can look around. I think he's probably going to tell you his or down, too. But uh, that's just a little overlay, a uh, little, little idea of what on in uh, any, any, any questions for Mike? Thank you. These are always kind of neat to see and compare to the year before. Okay, police surplus. We'll just let you yeah. keep on going. Uh, I want to ask that. Y'all know we had Officer Smith went to the clean uh, and when we wear our vest, they get fitted to us and they, they, they probably not want to fit anybody else. Uh, McLean County Sheriff was called and asked if he, if he could buy a coding vest. And it's half one out. They're about five years is what they're supposed to be. And we've had them about two and a half. And uh, he said if he could get it uh, declared surplus, that he would give us $400 for half, you know. A little over half of what the base would probably worth, but Cody didn't have one and he didn't have one for him. For him. And I know it's not our place to supply him the best, but still, there's not really going to be much we can do with it. Not doing us any good. Yeah. Because whoever we hire is probably going to fit. Right. Yeah. So if we can get it, then uh, they have, we've talked to the sheriff and he's agreed to pay $400 for the base. We, we do need that. We, we do that then. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Oh, same. <coughs> David, do you have anything for? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks sir. Uh, kind of like Mike said, our numbers are down as well. Kind of the plus sign for us is when the R numbers are down. People not getting hurt or losing things, so that's always a good thing. Um, I'll kind of go over it real quick. On the first page, is kind of a letter from me, and then the second page is just a brief overlay of our members, their certifications, and their time that they had invested in the fire service. Um, the neat thing on that, if you look at it, there's over 360 combined years and over 30,000 hours of training throughout that department. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the third page, this first graph, it's kind of a comparison year to year. Um, 2019, we had 419. 2020, we had 310 runs. Um, across the board, everything, like I said, is pretty low. It breaks it down, percentage of our runs, 41% of our total runs were medicals. The next highest was fires, and those can be anything from a fire alarm to a brush fire, vehicle fire, structure fire, them kind of sorts. You flip over on the next one, it kind of breaks the fires down as far as kind of what they were. 
Um, the 26 structures, like I said, some of those are going to be fire alarms. We have it in different places. Uh, a lot of businesses and stuff, every once in a while we get fire alarms on them. Um, the vehicle accidents. Last year, we were 62% were accidents with injuries. This year, it's kind of flipped. We were seeing more accidents with no injuries or very minor injuries. We've created that a lot, too. We've been a whole lot less vehicles on the roadway. So the majority of them are, are slide-offs is what we're running into, people running in ditches, stuff like that. Unfortunately, we have had three fatalities this year in car wrecks in our area where we work. Those been on the parkway? Uh, we've had one on the parkway, one on Prentice Road, and another on 65th. We've had three fatalities this year, or last year. The next one kind of breaks down some of the other responsibilities between some of those like hazmat, dust leaks, <coughs> water rescues, missing persons, things of that nature. And then the last one kind of breaks down what's inside the city limits and what's outside the city limits, but still in our first out area. Um, you can see there are medicals within our city limits are <coughs> probably our highest highest call I wonder why that's why is that flip for many of the others? A lot of it, for the longest time, we wasn't really responding to any medicals because of COVID. Mm -hmm. There's a big percentage of the medical rooms inside the city limits that we wasn't getting paid on, but we responded to because they were within the city. So the numbers are higher there because we were responding to So you went to less out of the city just yeah. because of that? Mm. Our numbers are, this year already, are starting to skyrocket. Like I so said, we had 310 runs total in 2020. We, to today is going 58, I think so far. Uh, we're just in the month of February. Most of those medical? Majority of them are. Um, with the COVID starting to kind of dwindle down, we're <laughs> trying to get a better hold on who has COVID, precautions, things are in place. Um, medical seems to be going back up where there's more people getting out, more people interacting, doing things. We're seeing a lot more stuff. That's kind of just a brief overlay of it. Any questions? Thank you. James, you have anything? No, I can't think of anything right off the bat. You know, uh, are we going to be going in about the topic you discussed or didn't discuss but brought to my attention the other day? And we can't, we'd have to do that here. We can't do that in closed session. Okay. Okay. Um, Larry, I know, was checking on a <coughs> light out on my lens. Larry, I need you here tonight. The Green Acre. Place. Thank you, out in Green Acres. Do you for, know if he ever found out anything? I thought he found out that they couldn't put it where they wanted it and where they were trying to get one mm -hmm. the KU or whoever it is, or Green River or whoever is running electricity out there said that they could put one on their house but they'd have to buy it. Yeah. I knew he said but that. That's the last I heard about. But I was thinking so. he was gonna he, check what the cost would be. He did well. But you might not was, know. I know he was going to he looked at moving it up to the intersection like we talked about and mm -hmm. they declined, decided then they didn't want the okay. light. So that, that was the last I've heard. That question. That's it. I'm in good shape. I'm good too. Okay. I just got one thing. We've got an opening on the Tourism Commission, and of course it's limited because we have to have someone from the city of Beaverdam, but I've had somebody that has shown an interest and some of them have talked to, and I'd like to put her up for consideration tonight. That's Jill Lynn. They live out Green Meadows, or route by. Yeah. Is that the right one? Yeah. I get them yeah. mixed up. I said Green Acres. It is Green Meadows. Green Meadows, yeah. Green Maurice, Acres. Maurice Jackson, Maurice and Terry's daughter. TV show. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. She's married. Her husband's name's Sean. He works for Bruco and military, ex-military. I, I don't know her, but I mean, it's, I'm glad we've got somebody wanting to do it. I just need approval. I'll make this, a motion that we approve Ms. Jillian. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Mm -hmm. Motion passes. <coughs> All right. Ian? I'd just like to get, get these emails to us, is that cool? Yeah. Appreciate it. 
Cindy? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to keep some communication going like about the park and um, not saying I'm trying to pressure or get things done, but just kind of coming here. And, um, Paul, we had talked something about like uh, bringing a waiver in for the sports to maybe your lawyer or your, the lawyer to look over the waiver. And well, I was wondering if we could kind of create one or if your lawyer may, you know, be able to <coughs> present one that would be. Well, have, have you talked to. Uh... Tim anymore? I haven't. I know, and I haven't either because I know he's been in Florida, but that, the one We're group. We're supposed to get together and do a calendar. That one group he was talking to, if, with them being a league like that, they would have all the paperwork. We probably would need to use theirs to go along with what they're set up and what their legal is already approved. Exactly. That's what he was saying. I think he's going to participate in the February 20th, the very first one, but it would be one that I'm actually putting on with an event, so right. I would need a waiver. I can come across. Uh, I just thought maybe if we kind of communicated to work together, maybe we. Yeah, we'll need something from each player to sign. I don't know. About. I wish yeah. Larry was here. That's what I did last year. I had everybody yeah. sign. But we may have something for Little League. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure I mean, we got something for Little League that they had to sign for a waiver. But, but I don't know if they do that or if the league does it. The league, may, the league may cover it. That's. That is true. Are y'all going? Is the softball going to be affiliated with anybody? Uh, this first one isn't. No. No. Know, so yeah. I don't want to be so responsible. That, that they would definitely know. probably need to be have a I mean, release form of some kind. We'll have to have some kind of release form. They're not worth a whole lot, but yeah. it would have something to show we're doing a due diligence. But <clears throat> see, we've been talking with them. They're looking at with the organization out of Paducah. Right. I knew they were trying to get a league this summer. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that was. You were, we, I mean, I you mean, talked about. Well, me and you talked about that too. Me and Paul talked about mm -hmm. that. The one that I come with, I can present it with uh, Sandy or Kevin or one of you guys, and you can get your way to look over okay. it if that's okay. Yeah, if you can get us something, and I'll talk, we can talk to A.V. too. He may, or Kevin's who you need to go through is the parks. Yeah. And I'll get with A.V., and he'll, we'll go over and see if it's, okay. you need to add or, de add or delete okay. something. That's and, all we can really do on okay. that. And he may already have something, too. He might. Right. Canned right. of some kind. That, and um, I know I got the handicap swing at one time, and it was deemed unsafe. And as I got to look at it, it was. Oh. And thankfully, the lady got it back. She got her money back. That was weird, too, because we talked about that when we, we looked at that, and I said, how can that be safe? Exactly. And Larry was the one that found it, I think. He's the oh, one that saw why it wasn't safe. I think it was Yeah, there. and it was yeah. supposed to hold up and it, 220 yeah, pounds. And, and there's no way. I there was no been, way. I, I thought, how in the world? It, to be honest with you. But if we could try to work, I was talking to Deanna, too, about some grants that may be able to come through. But like I said, I'm not pushing anything. I just wanted to kind of bring up a few things. And then uh, resurfacing the basketball court and the tennis court, hopefully with the upcoming pickleball, too. Yeah. Well, I know they're here for that. And I've got, I just talked to Larry Friday about that. So okay. when, they, when they start talking, I'll start talking on that. But yeah, we do. I know there was a plan. Larry had talked about we were going to resurface the basketball courts, too. Well, <laughs> now, now when that came up, we told them our priorities and we were going to set stuff yeah. as funding and as use came up. Yeah. But now that there's... I know that's still a priority, but uh, you know we asked them, the, the two young men here that time, what their number one priority was, and it was the basketball, and that's what we we're going to work on. And now there has been some swing to doing softball and the softball league started up, which is right. going to need scoreboards and concessions, right. upkeeps. You know, we can't do it all. Right, I know. Uh, well, they're, they're wanting a pickleball court, which, which I understand. And um, I know that that's why you got, that is why you guys are here, yeah, right? We just kind of just basically see where you're at. Yeah, you know. well, uh, I got, finally got the guy to, to put, give me an estimate to do the one in Owensboro, like, excuse me, to do the exact size and the exact framing of the one in Owensboro, it was going to cost us $24,000. Now, what they do is they come in, they resurface it, and then they basically put a layer, I don't know what they call it, but it's got it's a name. A different type of. And it's, it's kind of spongy. Gotta, it feels, yeah. it feels, it's good for your legs is what it's for. And, but it was going to cost, to do the one, but see, I wanted to do more than that. I talked to Larry Friday. He said there is no way we could do that right now, to do the to do the bigger one for sure. Mm -hmm. He said it'd even be a stretch to do the twenty four thousand mm dollars. -hmm. But he said he said that would be more apt to be done than the other one. But what, he's still checking on it. But he just it just financially, if we're going to do all the other stuff, it's going to like you say it's prioritized. And we're trying to get one done and then move on to the next one, move on to the next one. We're fine with that because Jimmy and I have talked. Jimmy Harris is with me on this. Yeah. We go to Owensboro every day. 
And we're perfectly happy doing that. Well, we still gonna well, we still want to tape it off and line it out so y'all can play. Well, this young man was twice, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I put I bought the best crack seal you could find. Yep. Put it in the cracks. Got to put a knife and even push it down when it roll up. I push it again. Mm -hmm. It looked good for two or three months and went back this spring and that stuff peeled up. It the just rolled up. There. Yeah. So when you get somebody in there like, I had my best intentions. Sure. Spent a couple hundred dollars and uh, okay. didn't do much. So when you get someone, a tennis coach told me this, and I didn't know what you're talking about. Most of the pickleballs play by older people. And there's a couple of courts in order we don't play on because it's hard on our knees and that just nobody else does. So yeah. if you, not careful, you'll get something to get by on, but it's not going to. Nobody's going to use it because it's too hard. Yeah. You know. So we're just just want to know where you was at. And yeah, we did. We did. Do, we did do the discussion. The guy came down and finally and he measured, which took me forever to get him down here. Yeah. But he did come down, and measured, he gave me a price, and then he told me, it's it is a lot cheaper to do two at once, which yeah. was actually it'd be four. It's two and then two, so it'd be four quarts. But it was t just to do the one with just two was twenty four thousand. And just for two. The two, the two, what well, basically what they had in Owensboro. So four quarts. What did he say about two quarts? Did he say anything about two quarts? No, that's what I'm saying. It, what is the one ones? Was it four or two? It's four. It, it actually it's four, four pickleball quarts. Four they made four quarts at it. Okay, then it was to do. We have room. He could put two Owensboros in ours. Yes. Is what he said. And that's what he was quoting me on was two ones bro. So that would be eight quarts. I thought and it was just two. Uh, that's, yeah. Hey, love to have it, but I think it's said empty. Yeah. I mean that's okay. Nice so have. for the one like the one in ones bro, he said twenty four thousand, mm -hmm. and and that that was what we what I went to Larry and talked to him about on Friday. I called him up and talked yeah. to him. and We discussed it. He said that would be a stretch, and I'm honest. But you were talking about the ceiling and all that. There 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 is a better way to do the crack ceiling. Then the you were probably using the rubber stuff that goes down in. Walking it, it's, it's, that you know, it's, that it's that's not the best. <laughs> probably <laughs> best you probably the best, you can, get, guy. Probably the best you can get on you know for an yeah. individual. Like there, there's, yeah, there's he's stuff, a black top guy. He knows this. Yeah, stuff. there's stuff you can use that's better. There's a place in one, in Evansville called Cosmocote, and I know they've got a crack sealer that's it's it's an emulsified sand and asphalt mix. And when you pour it out, you can just see it. It folds down into the crack, and it'll just it goes down as far as the crack goes. And if it goes down six inches, you'll pour it out, and it'll just all disappear down in that crack. And then it hardens, but it's it's flexible. So when your black top, because black top is going to expand in like that, and the heat in the winter, it's going to do this. It it it's got a little give to it, and it won't break. But it it would have to be a Fix that we'd have to look at how much See, that's going to be. We've got a core group here playing. There's probably eight or nine of us that are playing. And we think we can get more. Yeah. But the courts we've and you got, can. Are, listen, they're doable. Don't get me wrong. They're doable. We've got to set up the cracks in them. And if it rains, it's slick as snot because it's got the moss on it. We couldn't, we had to scrub it off. And uh, we don't, you know, we'd love to have four, but. It's, it's something that you need to grow on. Sammy's going to have interest. So one tennis court will make. Two pickleball One courts? One tennis court, I think, will make four. Yeah, oh. we could make tight. eight. Actually, they need a little more room on them, really. They're pretty tight, but it, we play them every day, so it's nothing that... I mean, we're playing when it's 35 degrees sunshine. That's how stupid we are when we get addicted to it. <laughs> See, I thought the one he quoted me only had... He said it was like the one in Owensboro. And I, I thought I remembered the one in Owensboro only having two courts on it, but you said it has four. Yeah, four. So the other quote he gave me, which was, I think, 30... I want to say 38.9 or 39.8. It was cheaper to do the two. The second one was a lot cheaper, but that would be eight quarts instead of four. Yeah. So I, that's kind of a lot. Oh, that's, hey, uh, see, our courts are always were four quarts. They're full most every day with some courts. Only two of them are played with three. So yeah. with their city that size, yeah. to have four quarts here would be great, but is it feasible? Maybe not. I don't know. I think a lot of people will play. It's more geared for the older people. Our younger people play it. But it's more geared for younger people. And also, they told us oh, the net system was $2,000 a piece. That's poles and nets, which I thought was outrageous. I found some cheaper poles, but the poles you looked at have the cranks on them. Yeah. And the, what they've got on them was all smooth. So that's, they done it for safety. So, I mean, it's no added. You get what you pay for. So, right. But we can just hear to see how, what's going on. And, uh, well, we have had discussions yeah. about it, but we're not to the point. Yet, but I got, I got to talk to every Brown if you don't like that lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know how that is. 
And, and I do but understand. Jimmy's talking to some other people also. Yeah. <laughs> did the other people, did you, did you get the same price? Do you all know what they paid in Owensboro? What they paid oh, for the Was it 22 or 24? 26,000. 26. 26. So we're about right, then. It's yeah. about the same price. So. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm surprised 24,000 was cheaper. Well, to be honest with you, from what I've gathered, they're not doing that much right now. He's like, right now, this time of the year, they're kind of slow. And he said he would come down and start in two weeks. Can I they said, do it this time of year with the temperature? He can as long as the weather's above, I think he told me, 45 degrees. I think they could do it if it was 45 degrees or warmer. You know, in February and March, we have some days that are 45, you know, where they could. But... But, I don't know. He didn't. I didn't really ask him that. I'd be concerned about nighttime temperatures. <laughs> yeah. I, he just said 45 degrees, and he said he said that he could start in two weeks if the weather would cooperate. And I said, okay. Of course, I know next Friday it's supposed to be zero or something like that. So it's supposed to be real cold next week. Is that what it is? It's, okay. So it could be. Maybe he was right. But well, I knew we didn't lay asphalt if it got below 55 because yeah. your asphalt gets so hard so fast when it's cold. You can't work it by hand, and I know that's hard. But but he seemed to think they could. But but again, you know, I did talk to him. I did talk to Larry Friday. We did discuss it. It's it's an expense right now. I don't know if we can do or not. We we'll just have to wait and see. But okay. we are going to do something to at least do the court where you can at least get on there and have the court to practice on it nothing else so hey, we're going to do something to it yeah i'm trying to i would appreciate anything you decide to do what i've seen from people i started a year ago it took a year from this place i thought it was ridiculous to play something called pickleball what i learned from it is it's a game that everybody i've just tried to really enjoy your age group is the one that's most likely to have a good time at it and helps you Physically, mentally, socially, it's just a good game for people to participate in. You said mentally? No. No, you're not, Mike. You know, but uh, I think people don't know how to play. Well, honestly, everybody tries so far and likes it. Nobody says, no, I'm not going to this game. Let me ask you this. Like I can't. Take a, ATVs are not going to be the same. Let me ask you this. Like I said, I can't. Take an A tennis court. The net's splitting it in half. So one half. You can make two courts out of that one side. Yeah. Am I understanding? All right. You know what? They wonder what it would. What would it? Four courts. Actually. Yeah. Actually. Out you know, of the whole side, four courts. Yeah. Each side. Each. Okay. Like here's the tennis court. Let's just. I'll show you how to do it. This is the tennis court. This is the dead in between the tennis courts. You would have one ten. Pickles. One tennis court. We this have is two. One tennis court. Okay. We have two full sizes. Right. You can put two pickleball courts here and two pickleball okay, courts that's there. What, I was just asking. Yeah. You can do two on and each half. I thought, half it, well, I thought it was tennis one court. and one, but it's two and two. That's where I got confused at. And I, I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have took better pictures and stuff. I wonder what it would cost. I know this is not the best way to do it, but sometimes we can't do things the best way just to get things done. What would it cost to do half of it and have two courts set up? We could. Would it come that, do that for a small? I know it would cost more per court. But well, it less to do that. this area here, which is one tennis court, was 24 something. To do this side and this side. Now you could just do this side, but it'd probably be more expensive just to do this side. Like to do two of these, it was going to be like I said, either 38, 9 or 39, 8, whatever it was, was to do two full size ones. So it would probably be like this one's 24, it would probably be 15, 16,000 to do this one. But that's something that's a little more doable. It is doable. feasible. <laughs> and I'm not that's saying something it's we can not. do a little quicker, but at the same time, It'd be just like they made the same a while ago. It's kind of a place to start to see if it grows. And then That's true. if you get true. several more people playing and you all come to us here, here by the end of the summer, it's like, okay, we're full. Can we have another? That gives you a little more. Now, I will say. It costs more overall, but in the long run, sometimes you can do that. I will say, when we were looking at it down there, when he was down here, we set it up. Like, they play tennis, it's this one. You know, this one serves to that. They had it this one. And because, like you say, he was going to put two courts here, two courts here. Now, is that going to be, would that be sun? Would that be a problem? Would that be? If you remember last year, me and Denny were here from Florida. Denny played a We went up there and looked at it. The sun would be an issue, we thought. That's where we set them up this way. Okay. Because you're looking at that you way, the sun's at your side about all the time. Yeah. The other way, you're looking Look, at one, yeah, one You want to set up just like a tennis court north-south, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I think it's the same reasoning there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Like so we, in the summertime, we go, we're, we're there at 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. And then wintertime, we wait till 11.30 to go in. <laughs> so it's, once you start playing, we really think you go go here. But I understand, I wouldn't want to put up four quarters for $26,000 in. Would it look good? Nobody's used, well, there's two tennis courts up there not being used now. Yeah, well, tennis, in Owensboro, no tennis courts are. Yeah. Well, like I said, too, we're there playing outdoor, but also about four indoor facilities that's full at the same time we're out local. So this is a big sport in areas, all areas, I've been around. That comes to Steve Brown, sure. Spend money. And I really feel like a Mike might talk about this. You've got to like someone to be the court. Or put it on, have a light and put it off. And we know people drive here to play the evenings to get on the Well, you think it might also and when I talked to Jimmy the first time, that was one of the big drawing points for us was we had lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then people could play at night. And he said, he said, there will be people drive over here. Like we drive to Owensboro to play. So there's going to be people drive from Owensboro exactly. to Eye County to play yeah. because they can play at night. You, we talked about that. Yeah, exactly. And I said, I said, well, that even makes it better because that means we're getting people into Ohio. Do what? They need to find some money. Well, that's what I like. I mean, I call him back and see if he can just do one. I don't just to see. I mean, it can't hurt to find out what it would cost. That might be something that would be we two could courts, do. But, but, yeah, yeah. Two that, courts, yeah. This is just an example. This is in South Carolina. They had 22 courts. Yeah. Yeah, they showed me. I mean, way. I didn't know what. That's, if you look that's online, it's, on, it's online everywhere now. Yeah. They, 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 have, uh, hmm. they have leagues and everything in those places. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's a. Uh, And I went there, just, I had a buddy of mine went to Texas two weeks ago, couldn't even play if everything was booked up for a week. Yeah. <laughs> they, they started a franchise called uh, Chicken and Pickle. Crazy, but if you want to Google that, they're going to a restaurant for pickle ports. Wow. <laughs> and it's like, it's just a really, it's the fastest growing sport in the U.S. right now. And mainly because us old people can't play tennis and can't play basketball and we want something to do to stay in shape. So it's like we've got a lot of qualifications in here. But anyway, I'm, I'm I will get back with him and see what he comes up with. And maybe we can even, if I tell him, you know, that what we're doing, he might, who knows. I told him we were trying to start a league or try to start the county because we don't have any in the county. He was, I think that's the reason he gave me the better price on the first one. But I'll see what he can do if he just does one, and we'll see what he comes up with. Hey, get him in line to do three more if it goes over. Well, see, that's what I was thinking. If we <laughs> said, we're going to try one. Two courts. Two courts. Yeah. Two one gonna, side of the Yeah, tennis. I'm going to try and get him to where we do. I hate talking with these things on there hard here. I'm going to try and do, do the one that has the two courts first. We were going to do the four courts. That's the one with the 20, 24,000. And, and when I say 24, it may be 24, 8 or 24, 9. But it was 24,000 something. If, if he can do the two, and maybe he'll do it for 15, 16, I don't know what he's going to end up charging us. But, but I'll see what he can do on that. And then, like he said, we'll say, look, we're experimenting, but we, we're going to show you. And he knows he's seen the place where we're having it. And that's why he said we could put, which I guess would be eight courts in that. No, yeah, eight courts up there easily. He said easily you could put eight courts up there. Even on the way we've got to run, you run eight courts easy. Yeah, and that's what he said. There would be more room than on for those guys because they're limited. Like I said, they had one tennis court <coughs> in York Park, and they made four tennis pickleball courts out of that one. So the fence is only six foot from the playing surface, which is kind of tight, but we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Hell, more room would be better yeah. Which we do have. And he said he could do that with eight courts. But I mean, like you said, we could sell it as, okay, look, we're going to put this down an experiment, but if we, this works, we're going to do the other eight courts or, or six. six courts. And we may be, he, maybe he will give us a discount. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to him. It, can't, it doesn't hurt any dude pick up the phone or go, uh, have him meet us down here and go over it and look at it again. 
I'm already impressed. You got to have two thousand dollars from what I was going to pay. Well, I said twenty four. It could be twenty. Oh, yeah, still, it was twenty four something. There's a twenty six. Yeah. Making change as well, but you've already got a better price than they did. So yeah, I, have, I think you're on the right track. Yeah. Well, I mean, I told him what we were starting it up down here. Maybe he was giving us a discount or something. I don't know. But 24 something, I'm sure it was 24 something. I say 24. But it's, it, I think he'll come down and look at it again. And if we sit down and explain it to him, and if he comes down, I'll have y'all come out there. That may be the best thing if we all sit down and just talk. And, and you tell him, y'all be able to tell him where you even want it. You may decide, I want down this area or this corner. Or, you know, there might be a better location for it. Y'all can. Y'all know where the sun comes from here. He doesn't. Well, we I mean, I do. Away, we would stay away from the back end because of the trees and leaves. Right, but they're cleaning that up. Yeah. yeah. But, but See, they're, they're wanting to clean. There's going to be a problem, but the tree's pretty handy in the summertime. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and also, you know, there's a, the Main Street trees will give you shade in the early yeah. afternoon or late afternoon for a little while, which will help yeah. on the Main Streets where the the you know, people like the bed and breakfast up there and all that. Who's, Barb's. Who's behind that? Is Mary Ruth behind that? Yeah, Mary Ruth and the Barb's ca ca catering is there. I know Barb's on one side. Yeah. Or, and know, then the other side's Mary Ruth. Mary Ruth's behind them. Yeah. And she's got some trees that would give some shade. But again, you don't want them too close because then you get leaves and everything else on there. But I'll, opinion, I'll get back in touch with him and see what he can do. In my opinion, you've got a great place to have the nice people. Well, that was, again, when we all started talking about this back in the fall, that's one thing that we talked about was. We're not getting any use for it, and the first thing I did was ask if we could use it because you know used to when you had a grant you could only use it for that, and I they call it, we called KLC or you did somebody did call we, it KLC. We had to keep we had. I was afraid because I was told previously that it had to remain a tennis court. Yeah, but that but apparently KLC. It, ha it has to remain recreational. Yes. So we got by with that, which was big plus for us because now we can use it for as long as it's something like pickleball or something like that. We can change it to anything we want to. We can change into basketball courts. In fact, I think we talked you about talked switching, about yeah. moving the pickleball down closer to the thing and moving the basketball up there. But nobody, nobody that plays basketball down there wants to move. They want to stay where they're at. I mean, it's kind of, that's the way it's always been. That's where they want to keep it. So it's good enough for me. But I'll get back with them and we'll try and get everybody hearing in it. But like I said, we are trying. Okay. It, it, is, it is, we are trying a little bit at a time. So. See if he can give us a better price. Yeah, anyway. If we can get it down with something like that, I'd like the idea of getting two of them at least to get a start. And See if get it you all started get to try to build it up, and that gives a little more incentive and that makes sense to, me, to get the next one and move right on down the line. Go do another one or two yeah. more. Yeah. Or We've got two nets we have carry around that we could actually have, even if we don't have two excellent courts, we could still use two more nets and make it two more courts just for if we get too many people there. Yeah. We could just paint the lines for those courts. We could just paint the lines for those courts. We, you know, two would be excellent, and then if something happens, everybody starts coming. We can throw up two more nets and just get by. Get to get by, to we can get that other yeah, one done. If it grows and you guys aren't ready to spend the money, we can we can provide temporary nets and help. Okay. Phase of it. Okay. All right. I'll get all that. I just appreciate you considering it. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm just here to. to if I can facilitate it, help anyway, it, it's all up to you guys. It's, if you do it or don't do it, Mike and I, we play the Orange Square, we enjoy it. I think the people I came to love playing here, I think they love the sport. I think some of you guys sitting there don't think you'd ever play it. I'd be surprised if you don't try it and like it. But either way, thank you very much. Well, thank you all for coming. Also, Sandy, yes. um, Mr. Wheat, the corporate with Walmart and Tennessee, was asking if you wanted to try to, or you had told me that you were going to try to maybe go to Walmart again and see if we could get that started again. Have you talked to any of those folks from Walmart? I know. I have not, but the reason we couldn't, uh, the reason they couldn't, Amy was the one trying to do the grant, is because of the stipulation that Walmart had. I don't remember exactly what the stipulation was per perfectly, but they were requiring us to be have the, all these different things that we had never had to do before when we did a grant. And it's, it was, you know, Amy said, she said, she said, we've never had to even come close to these kind of stipulations Oops. on a grant before. Do you have an example of what I don't, is? and I wish, I wish I, I didn't even, I should have yeah. remembered, but I, Amy was dealing with it and she called and said, Kevin, they want us to do this. We've never done this before. I mean, it was going to, it was just jumping through hoop after hoop after hoop to get a grant that 
it was going to, I think it was going to end up costing us money to get the grant because you had to be well, certified in this and all this. Part of it was the timing too because it, and it was the caught, timing. she it was in the middle of a bunch of stuff and that we had a short window to get it. Yeah, and, and it was before we hired our lovely new clerk over there and she <laughs> she was doing double duty and I'm First sure like, it was don't be blaming me on any of this. <laughs> I wasn't blaming you, no, I'm not blaming you. But, uh, and I don't, I don't have an example of it. I'm sorry I don't, but you know, that has been a little while ago when we did that, it was back in the fall. Because it was even tied up something because of that foundation too. Yeah, it? yeah, there was a foundation thing we had to do and just several different, there was about seven or eight steps that we had never had to do before. And she was trying, but I know she, I knew she couldn't. And then Jason sent me the thing, said we try back in the spring. Right. And that was the last com communication I've had from him, was we tried again in the spring. So, okay. yeah. do you know what their grant cycle is? Is it quarterly, or do they have a? Well, when we met with Jason, Cindy and I met with Jason, and and honestly, I don't think it's got anything to do with cycle. I think if we can get every get our ducks in a row and yeah. get on their side, I think we can get pretty yeah. much um, at any time. Even Eric Taylor was saying. Yeah. That he's pretty sure he may have figured it out, and then with the Beaverdam Foundation, yeah. and then just with 501c3, is what Jason from corporate at Walmart said. Yeah, you know, one of the things, and I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but there was one thing that we don't even have in our city that they wanted us to, to verify that we had, and we don't even have it in our city. It was like a, like she said, it was some kind of foundation thing that we don't even have in our city. It's a. Yeah, we've got the foundation. Yeah, but it's something else that we don't it's have. Sam's. I don't know what it was, but Amy, Sam's number. Amy said Amy said it was that we don't have anything like it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have the information, but I know it was it was something that we as a city do not have. Is it a tax? It's not a tax number. I know Is that's it not. Is it Duns? No, it's not. I, funds. I bet it's that Sam's it, number. They just started requiring that about two years ago, three. Well, time it's about maybe three or four. Or no, no, it's it has nothing to do with Sam's Club. It's <laughs> that's just the initials, whatever it stands for, yeah. comes up to S. I think it's S A M M. S A M S S maybe. I don't know, but there was something we don't. But we, we don't, renewed the Sam's number. You have done. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that's what it was. I don't. There was something we didn't have, and she was, she was trying, but we there was no way she could have got it on time because it took like a month and a half to get it, and we had like three weeks to get it in. So. If it's the Sam's number, you may check with Amy. She was working on that today. Yeah. It's something we had to have to do FEMA. What the Sam's is is that's an organization that if FEMA, for instance, awards you any grants or any money. They're more or less a middleman. They're clearing house. It's a clearing house type thing. Yeah. Um, and we had to have it last year with going through the AFG grant process. Um, and she was working on today renewing it because she actually called me about it. So if it's, if it's the same number, uh, you may check with her. She may, she's been in the process of working on it. So. Yeah, because we were renewing it because something's coming up about a CDBG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That might have been it then, but I don't know. Point of your hand. Thank you, Kevin. If you did. That's the text that he actually sent me. Jason? Yeah. Uh, let's see. The 501c3 is what we're needing. And I don't know what that means. It's That's a IRS designation. Yeah. And the 501 of the code, and then they've got a C3. Because the city is a 501, we're a C, I think C9. Maybe that was it. We weren't the right category or the something. The city. Huh? And see, I don't understand that because anything, any kind of contribution to a municipality like that's tax deductible anyway. I don't know why. Yeah. And I mean, I hate it. We any kind of government agency is it's tax deductible on a donation. But C3, I think, is a non-profit organization. C3 is a non-profit. Yeah, it's like your churches and your yeah. things like that. Yeah, it's, it's what, is your church a C3 or... It's a C3, I'm pretty yes. sure. Okay. So a lot of churches, there's another there's another designation for religious. That's why I asked. Yeah. So is ours a C, would ours be considered a C3? The foundation is. Beaverdam Foundation is a 501C3. I know that because we set it up. So you think it wasn't a 501C3? It, it, there was something that she couldn't get. I mean, she was trying, but she couldn't get it. And she, she, she do said we'd have to apply. Do you care to check with Amy on that? I'm sorry? Do you care to check with Amy Oh, I'll, 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 get, I'll do that tomorrow. And, uh, also, I mean, I'll take care of it. But, I mean, I, I know, I'll just ask her. I said, what else was it we needed to get the grant? Because there was, 
there was a list, and we weren't close on getting it all done. So there were a couple of things that she just was having a hard time getting. Wow. And I mean, she was doing something she wasn't prepared to do either, exactly. so. Yeah, we had to talk about it too, yeah. that's fine. Because it's just patience. Yeah. It's all gonna happen, but it's yeah. just gonna take some time. And I just wanted us to be able to just communicate about it and just bring a few things up. And I do have to leave. I apologize. Yeah. Right in the middle of I it. think we're, we're about done. We're about so wrapped up. We're about ready to wrap up. I was just gonna say, does anybody have anything else? Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate yeah, it. I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh